Samsung Galaxy S9 Lilac Purple Unboxing. Coming up right now for the Lilac Purple Samsung Galaxy S9 Unboxings and First Impressions. What's the first thing? Well, it looks exactly like the boxes before it. Same goes for the S7. They really haven't changed up their boxes. I don't have a problem with that. I think they look very classy. So taking it over to the back, let's quickly look at the specifications that are included. Samsung Galaxy S9, USB fast charger, USB connector, stereo headset, quick reference guide, terms and conditions and sim ejector this is the unlocked model by samsung so let's just get into the unboxing we've seen this thing already before this type of box here you can see you are presented with the samsung logo right there you pull over here from the right side pulling it open reveal ourselves a samsung galaxy s9 pamphlet opening up their sim card eject tool aren't we used to this oh we're gonna we're gonna read these when we're doing number two we'll do that later <laughs> so going in here here is the lilac purple samsung galaxy s9 and wow first impressions stunning color right here for the samsung galaxy s9 let's go ahead and boot that thing up and i'll let that boot up while we are you know going into the rest of the box but here is the galaxy s8 and you can see it's very very similar so we might not want to upgrade it for s8 owners you can see secured by Knox. that's a little bit different it's letting you know this is a very secure phone but let's go ahead and put that down and go inside the box here you can see there is that and going in this little tray we do have some more akg headphones nice so these headphones are actually quite good i think for you know a phone manufacturer including them in the box and then right here you will get yourself a usb c cable right there a usb connector for transferring files if you're coming from an iphone you could easily send stuff over this way also right here you get that adaptive fast charger so there's not much more to talk about when it comes to the box, let's get into the phone. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and peel off this sticker. You only get this once in a lifetime. Didn't make too much of a hassle there. Let me peel that sticker off. And you could just see that lilac color. Man, is that a beautiful color Samsung went ahead and included? Of course, I do think it does air on more of the feminine side. It's probably going to be a hit among the ladies. But for real, it's a really nice color that they went ahead and included in here for the S9. So let me peel that off the front. Get that little, that little sound we all love, don't we? So... Getting in, you can see it says start. This looks like it is running Android 8.0. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my Wi-Fi and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so now we're presented with terms and conditions. We're gonna hit agree here. And as you can see, it says checking for updates. So now it'll ask you to sign in with your Google account. And you can see, just look at all these options right here to go ahead and protect the phone. Before you only had these four down here. Now you have intelligence scan. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up intelligence scan because that's the new feature. It says to use intelligent scan, unlock your phone to verify yourself in apps. So basically what this is gonna do is allow you to use iris and facial recognitions combined to get a faster unlock speed. But it's not quite as secure as Face ID on the iPhone. All right, so I just set up Face Unlock and that thing was super fast in comparison to the S8, but you can see right here, notifications on, you can hide the content, you can change the transparency of the notifications. I like that right there. I'm gonna make it high. I don't really like super you know, bright colors. So let's hit next. Okay guys, so we have arrived into the software here. It's a beautiful looking device. I just gotta say that right off the bat. Let's go in the settings right now and go to about and you can see that, let's go to software information and you can see Android 8.0 Oreo here with Samsung Experience version 9.0. So I basically already tried this out. It's much faster than what I've seen on NuGet, but we'll have to see if TouchWiz does slow down over time. I think that's gonna be a real you know, determining question here when it comes to the Snapdragon 845 in the CPU. But mentioning something about the lilac purple and basically any of these new Samsungs, it's gonna show a lot of fingerprints on the back because it's very shiny, but it's definitely not a darker color. If you look at it in the right light, it's a very light color. So it's nice here for the lilac purple. If you guys were thinking it's gonna be like really purple, nah, it's more of a lighter purple. But the color of the wallpaper is definitely a plum looking color. But anyway, I don't wanna talk too much. We know this has that 12 megapixel variable aperture camera, fingerprint scanner, heart rate monitor right there they move the fingerprint on the s9 let me go ahead and show the s8 next to this phone just for a comparison to see how much it has changed but you can see that there's the s8 they move the fingerprints down just as i predicted before the phone definitely got a little bit shorter it looks like so let's take a look at these two devices so just a hair shorter you can see at the top just a hair shorter but it also got a little bit wider just a hair wider so let's go ahead and look at the bottom here and you can see just a hair wider 
on the Samsung Galaxy S9, but it's a very small device. It's still gonna be easy to one hand this device. You still have the annoying Bixby on here, but it'll be easy to turn that off. You kind of see how those notifications look right there. USB-C does make a return here on the bottom of the S9. The stereo speaker looks a little bit different as well on the bottom here, and it also will come out the front. So that's gonna be nice to test out here. Also along these edges, I noticed that these are a little bit different the way these are designed on the edges. It just feels a little bit different. I'm not exactly sure the material, I'll look into that before I give a definitive answer. But overall, it, it really is a stunning design here for this lilac purple, really it is. You gotta see it in person. It doesn't really do its justice on camera. But like I say, if you got an S8, it's not a huge difference to go to an S9. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the camera here. If I go into the camera, you can see we have the super slow-mo settings, the AR emoji, which I'll be sure to test out. A lot of people are saying, it's the creepiest thing I've ever seen on a phone. Oh my God, we copied Apple. We'll see if that's the case. Future videos, hyperlapse, auto, selective focus, pro, panorama and food so you don't get that dual camera here on this device but you still do get that ability to change the aperture on this device so i have to learn how to do that really quickly but definitely this is going to be you know opening up like a little dslr mini dslr for low light photos we'll be sure to test them out on the channel and that's it here for the unboxing of the galaxy s9 i'm not going to go too in depth we got plenty of content coming so you might want to be subscribed for that any video suggestions comments concerns questions drop them down below in the comments